everybody, it's Donna from Dinners with Donna. Welcome into my kitchen today. Uh, we will be making a recipe that is a classic in my household, and I'm sure you guys have a version of it that you make too. It's my sausage balls that you make with bisquick and cheddar cheese and maybe some herbs in there and sausage. So um, it's really simple, really delicious. I've been making them for over two decades for my family and Samantha specifically requested these uh, for the holiday season this year. So I'm gonna make a batch for you guys and show you how I make mine. And you can uh, tell me in the comments if you do anything different um, or if you add or subtract any of, of the things that I'm putting in. Um, I know some people use cream cheese, um, but we're going with straight up cheddar at one pound that I grated in my food processor. And I like freshly grated, uh, good quality sharp cheddar, um, better than the pre-shredded stuff that has like the cellulose in it and it gets all powdery. It keeps the pre-shredded cheese from clumping, but it also takes out a lot of the moisture and stuff. So I don't like that in my cheese. I also have a pound of, um, I always use Jimmy Dean, just the regular uh, roll sausage, one pound. We are going to be using two cups of our Bisquick mix. And we are going to be using, I'm gonna use parsley today. You can use freeze dried chives if you can find them. Uh, you can add some spice in there if you want a little chili powder, if you like a little heat. Um, it's, it's your recipe, so do whatever you want with it. My eaters in my house are not adventurous, so parsley it is. <laughs> but here we go. This is so simple and so easy. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is make a batch for you, but with the rest of them, what I do is I make assemble them, I put them on a sheet tray, I freeze them, then I put them in plastic storage bags um, and, and write on it what it is and date them um, because they will last about three, four months, a good three or four months in the freezer. So I make one batch of these um, a year and, and they last throughout, you know, usually Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. This year I'm, I'm making them at Christmas time, so we'll ha probably have them through Super Bowl, which I think Sam will be happy about because that's right around her birthday time, so she'll have sausage balls to nosh on during Super Bowl. So, okay, here we go. Really simple. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually start with the cheese and the Bisquick and everything that's not the meat first, because I don't wanna contaminate everything. I'm using my food safe uh, gloves because it just makes it easier uh, for cleanup and everything. So I'm gonna dump all the cheese that I shredded. And again, this is one pound of sharp shredded cheddar. I'm just gonna tap it to get everything out of the bowl. And you might sometimes need to, uh, now make sure you take the attachment of the blade thing out because you don't wanna hurt yourself. But yeah, I've got, see, no, nothing to hurt yourself on there. And then we wanna make sure all the cheese comes out. So we did that. Now I'm gonna measure, where did I put my measuring cups? We're gonna measure two cups of, oh, it's right over here, sorry. We're gonna measure two cups of the Bisquick. And you can use reduced fat in this. I've used that before, and that, that always works fine. Um, I did see online there's a, a low-carb version of this that doesn't use the bis, uh, biscuit mix. It uses something else, so maybe we'll try that on a, another low-carb show sometime. Okay. Let's shake it out. One. Two. And we have a lot of humidity here. That's why I filled my cup a little bit over um, because there's going to be probably a lot of moisture in the um, cheese ball mixture. So I want to make sure the Bisquick is enough to absorb all of that. Okay, so we're done with our Bisquick. And how easy is this, guys? So simple and so uh, fun. The kids can help with this, give them their food safe gloves, and they can make little balls and put them on the tray and enjoy what they make. I'm just gonna eyeball, I'm gonna say about a couple of tablespoons for the whole recipe I'm putting of parsley flakes. And that's really not much for flavor. It's mostly for uh, color. And then here's our sausage roll. I've uh, cut it open, so we'll get all of that out of there with not 
anything sticking to the package. There we go. And again, this is where your food safe gloves come in really handy. Okay, I'm going to um, get all the little bits out of the edge because you want to get as much of the sausage in there as you can because it is called a sausage ball, so you want a lot of sausage in there. I'm gonna dispose of this and I'll be right back. Okay, that's it. Now we just mix, and you can do this in your stand mixer. People have said they do it in their stand mixer. I've always done it with my hands. We'll do it with our hands today. And I will say, if this um, mixture gets too dry, which it may, we need may need to add a little bit of milk, about, I would say, a quarter of a cup. But we'll see what we're getting in here. Just gonna keep mixing and see how it goes. And I think I am gonna add that little bit of milk in so um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the milk and then I'm gonna use this hand to mix. Okay, so I'm just gonna eyeball just a little bit. You don't want a lot because you don't want it too moist. But let's see how that does. Yeah, that's already working its magic. Okay, now Sam, if you wouldn't mind grabbing mom another food safe glove so I can um, mix this with two hands, that would be awesome. biscuit mix to go in here into the sausage. So we're getting there. And we might need a little bit more milk. If you don't mind, give me a hand. There we go. Mix it all in real good. It's getting there. And you could definitely have used a stand mixer. To do this if you were short on time. I like doing it with my hands because I've got a feel for what I'm looking for. It also depends too on the humidity of where you live, the weather conditions, um, altitude, all that stuff. And um, your sausage, uh, the fat content, because the less fat content in your sausage, um, the less moist it's going to be. But you can see now that this is all pretty much well incorporated. There's no dry little bits left on the bottom of the bowl. So we needed probably between a quarter and a half cup of milk to get ours to where we wanted it. So now we're just gonna roll these into little like golf size balls like that. I'm going to put them on my the prepared tray with the foil. You guys know me with my foil, so I'm gonna make a whole bunch. Um, I'll make a tray and then I'm gonna put them in the oven and then what I'm gonna do is um, make this small tray for now. So I'll make like a dozen for us for now. And then the rest of them, I will roll out and put on a larger uh, 
baking sheet and then I will freeze them and then put them in the Ziploc bag like I told you uh, I do at the beginning. And we'll store the rest for a future date. Sam, how many of these do you want? Like four? It's not imperative, but I mean, you want to try to get them this, around the same uh, diameter and same size because that way they all cook evenly. If you have one giant, you know, sausage ball and one little one, the little one will probably burn because it'll cook much faster than the big one. So you just want to try to get it as close as you can. And if you want to, you can also use a little scale to portion them out and make sure they're exact if you're you know, like type A, I'm not. <laughs> so I just kind of eyeball it. So I've been doing this, like I said, for over two decades. So I, I kind of know what I'm looking for. There we go. And I've got my oven preheating guys to 375 degrees. I'm gonna bake these for, oh, about 12 to 15 minutes or until they are golden brown and the sausage is all cooked through. And if you find that you have maybe put, a, spilled a little bit too much milk into your um, sausage balls and it's like too, the dough's too sticky and wet, um, what you can do is just add a little bit more um, Bisquick, and I would add not more than a quarter cup at a time for sure, because you don't want to get it too dry again. You got to get that right balance of moisture. Um, but this is kind of the consistency you're looking for. It's almost like Play-Doh, kind of, which sounds weird, but okay. So. I'm gonna have Sam help me for a second because I've got these all ready to go. Oh wait, no, I've got one more to make. And then, there we go. I didn't put it on the sheet. We're gonna put these in the oven at 375 for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. And then we'll take them out and we'll show them to you. And um, I'll test one and tell you how good they came out this time. So I gotta take off my glove to do this. Here we go. And then in they're gonna go. We'll see you in 12 to 15 minutes. Timer, we'll put it on for about, we'll say 13. Okay, so we'll see you guys in 12 to 15 minutes or through the magic of television even faster. And I'm gonna roll out the rest of the sausage balls while they bake. Okay guys, so our sausage balls are almost done. Here they go. Okay, so we're gonna turn off the oven. And oh my goodness, look at these beautiful things. They are golden brown, just like they're supposed to be. We're gonna come over here and I'll show you the difference. So these are the ones I made while these were in the oven. So these are the ones I'm going to freeze for later use and put in a, a Ziploc storage bag. Um, and then these are the finished ones. So um, we're gonna let them cool for just a little bit because they're way too hot to uh, dive into at the moment. So we will be right back and do a taste testing for you. Okay guys, so I have my guest taste tester, Richie, so you don't have to miss him while I'm gone either. Um, so these, Richard, are the um, sausage balls and all it is is Bisquick um, sausage, like Jimmy Dean sausage and um, freshly uh, grated cheddar that I did in the food processor and a little bit of Posted Flakes and a little bit of milk because it was too dry. Right. Um, but that's all, pretty simple. And I've made these for decades. And I was telling them that Sam requested these. She doesn't want to be on the camera. She's behind the camera filming for us. Um, so props to Sam for vlogging for us, thank you. Um, and we're gonna give these a try. They're, they're kind of hot still, but it's see, milk. yeah. 
This is how they're supposed to look when they come out. Mmm. They're really good. These are so yummy. It's really hard to eat just one of these, but I'm just eating one of these. Um, they're really good. They're they're moist, <laughs> and you know they're not um, overbaked. Uh, they're not too bready. Good. I think the ratio of everything is is just right. Um, so yeah, I would definitely, of course, make these again as I've been making them for years anyway. But I hope you guys try them. And if you do variants like with cream cheese, some people put Rotel in there. Let me know. Let me know what your family does and what you guys like to do. Um, or if you've tried this recipe uh, based on my recommendation, let me know how it turns out for you. I'd love to know. Um, but until then, keep an eye out for more vlogs. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.